Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. This is part one of two of the news again, because at the moment it doesn't matter whether you like movie figures, the movies, chug figures, um, official or third party, there is just so much going on in the world of Transformers. And before we get started, I wanna thank everybody that's already started using my show Z code. It really does mean a lot. Uh, thank you ever so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, if you just pop Toys R Us in that box there on show Z, it will be massively, massively appreciated. Okay, moving on, Alfonso Nation, fellow YouTuber, got to speak with Jason Avalos, who portrays a security guard at the museum uh, where allegedly a great big chase scene and everything happens. Um, and he's obviously a say, security guard in the movie. So if you want to check out that interview, head to TFW 2005 or indeed Alfonso Nation's um, actual YouTube channel to have a look at that yourself. Moving on, wrong way, we've got anybody who's heading the New Jersey Comic Con. If you want to know the itinerary, I'd suggest you pause the screen now or screenshot that. There is your itinerary. Or indeed, if you want a lot more news, a lot more information on that or to read it yourself, again, it's on TFW 2005. Right, these are something that I think I showed on Wednesdays, or I showed the Optimus Prime version. These are these new uh, pullback and go race cars that all of a sudden have just appeared out of nowhere. Well, there's an Optimus Prime one, which we've seen, and now we've got Bumblebee as well. So these are cutesy things. I think they're from the same authentic toy line by the looks of it. You can see there is Bumblebee. Um, I think these were selling for $5, I think, in the, in the last pictures that we saw. Um, they're just a bit of fun by the looks of it. It'll be interesting to sort of see the two. There's the Optimus Prime uh, racing together, but these have just come out of nowhere, and they've indeed hit shops already. <clears throat> right. Moving on from them, we're now going on to some things that we've seen some of these, but not all of them. This is from the Bologna Book Fair 2 2023, and it's basically Transformers books. So some of these we've seen and some of them we haven't. Um, and I'm just going to show you the ones that are pretty much out and available to order from various uh, bookstores and indeed Amazon. So we've got Ready to Read Optimus Prime from Earthspark. Again, Ready to Read there, Meet Twitch and Thrash. Then we've got the Rise of the Beasts mission at the museum. We've seen that definitely before. We've got Racetrack Recon, more Earth Spark stuff, more Rise of the Beasts. All of these books then are out already and available to buy. There is the Earth Spark book again, and we've got the guide coming up in a second. So more books, more stuff, as I suppose, more for the younger generation, uh, but ideal to get them involved and interested in Transformers. Right. More lists, yet absolutely more lists of figures. Now, on, this is JT Prime again. Now, he's got three numbers, um, but unfortunately, we don't know what these are. We've got Transgen Ecom SDCC1. So I don't know if it's a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It could be. Uh, we've got numbers one, two, and then we've got DTC. But the one that is really interesting, we've got a name on it, and it's Transformers Generations Ecom Capsule Voyager Nacelle. So if any of you don't know who Nacelle is, um, it's another sp another seeker, and they did a BotCon version there. So using the thrust mold, I imagine we're gonna get exactly the same. It'll be, of course, like the Earthrise Voyager thrust decoed into these simply amazing colors. Can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, even more figures going to be released and available soon. Talking of which, this is this is ridiculous. This is a, just a huge, huge abundance. So we've had loads of reveals from Hasbro, etc. Takara Tomy, so this is all from their website via TFW 2005. Um, from their YouTube channel, from everything they have listed, like they're calling Transformers, some of the figures, they're calling them Awakening, Change or Battle Charges. They've released it three, six, 10, about 20 figures. Some of these we've seen a lot of already under different guises, under the different Hasbro names. Some of these are quite new, so I'm gonna show you in detail some of the figures we haven't seen yet. Um, again, TFW 2005 and T-Formers has got so much information on all of this. Um, there's the list of figures you can see right there. There's the continuing list of figures, and there is a direct Takara Tomi YouTube video there of the advert for the toys. I'm gonna to do my absolute best to try and get that and put it on this channel. It is so funny. It is, 
it's crazy. I, I can't put into words how good it is. So if you haven't seen it um, and I haven't managed to get it uploaded soon, just check it out. It's so, so crazy. I've got a couple of images from the actual YouTube video. Um, they've got Optimus Primal talking away and dancing uh, with all of the other figures. It really is a load of fun but it, it's nonsense it's fun if i could understand it it'd probably be a lot better but it, it's just great so this is the entire lot of figures as you can see there is a load there that they have officially released and are advertising on their website so this is optimus prime they're calling him evo change are they or is it i'm sorry awakening change optimus prime uh, these look like to be just you know simple one step changes to start off with but there's the weaponizers that we've seen advertised with other figures so you can see how they're used all together same as rhinox looks like to be a really simple one-step changer but again with these accessories as well so just as i say chosen to a few of these that bumblebee by the way is just a deluxe bumblebee from one of the sets that we've seen already same as all these remember the ones that combine with each other we've seen these quite a lot already um, including these, but the ones that we haven't seen, we're going to get to in a second, um, and I'm going to show you some images of them. And this is, of course, Scorponok. There we go, with Sand Spear. So we've only seen him in this particular mode, but you can see now the alternate mode. And I really like this. Obviously, I've got a right um, fondness for Scorponok anyway, but there they are together. So Scorponok and Sand Spear in robot and in scorpion mode. Um, and again, as I said, this is the first time we've seen images of these together and all combined. And they do look very, very good. That is the normal Deluxe Studio Series Bumblebee, again with Cheetor, but again using some of these Battlemaster weapons. Uh, there's the Air Razor again. I say we've seen all these figures apart from what I've just stopped on here. Nightbird, she's looking really good. I'm not liking what's going on there above the wheel arch, but again, it'll just be because it's a one step flip changer but she still looks great completely different color scheme to the other versions i've seen of her but still okay even more toys even more toys as i say i've deliberately not selected every single image of these because we've seen lots of them already um and again if you want to see them yourselves head to the websites i've shown but this is interesting this is scourge three-step changer uh, all via buttons where you press and click and again you can see this on the video so there's the three steps there's, it's telling you where to push it, push the button on the roof, does the first part of the transformation, push the button on the roof, second part, and indeed third part. It's quite clever, it's a bit like Automorph technology, but I'm not gonna say more simplified, because Automorph technology obviously was just like the chest opening or something. This is like a full transformation, so it's, it's, it's really clever. And again, definitely worth a watch on the videos, for obvious reasons I can't put the videos on here. But there we see Scourge in all his glory, and the figures continue, the list, and the numbers of them coming out is crazy. And we pretty much get to the very end there. So yeah, in total, there's, I think there's well over about 100 images there. So that's why I've just selected a few for you. Right, on to third party things for a few. Iron Factory IF44 FG City Commander first generation. Now again, I'm learning about third party, so I'm gonna read quite a bit of this. They've got a new announcement, a new announcement for the IF44 FG City Commander. So it's first generation edition release. It's a remake of IF44, and it looks like they're going um, with some slightly different colour scheme of Ultra Magnus, and it's going to be a cab, cab robot portion that combines with MX44. This is the only image we have yet. This is from T Formers, but it is also on Iron Factory's Weibo page. So that's the only images we've got. So you can see here, it looks like the cab part and portion you can combine. As soon as I find more information about that, I will of course let you guys know straight away. This is just something that I think is amazing. So I just wanted to show you. This is box, actual picture images of the refresh, packaging refresh of Legacy Evolutions, uh, Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron, uh, because obviously they didn't have a leader um, in the first wave. I, I love this figure. I was so Please, I managed to get it. I completely missed it last year. If you guys missed it, honestly, I can't tell you how good that figure is. It completely blew me away. I didn't think it'd be anywhere near as good as what it was. I um, mean, it definitely would have been in at least my top five of last year. So now that it's got a package refresh, if you missed out on it, I would 100%, 100% recommend trying to pick it up. Right, I'm gonna apologize in advance for this because the picture isn't that great and I know I've got an awful glare as well. But XM Studios Transformers G1 RC statue coming soon. This is just one teased image. 
Um, it says, and then we've just got a few uh, bits of information. So XM Studios SNS has posted an update with a teaser image of their next release, and it's going to be a G1 RC statue. Shamir, I only, no, 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 it doesn't, it hasn't, the, I thought it had the size of the statue, but it doesn't, it's just a bit of a bio, bio about RC. That is a screenshot from T Formers, and that is the only image we've got. It is in black and white, and it is exactly that. It's a teaser image, you can hardly see anything but again as soon as i get more information i will let you know right moving on to something i don't know if this applies to the us but i would suggest checking out hasbro ebay us because at the moment in the uk everything's gone crazy not just on transformers i'm going to show you of course the majority of transformers on here but you can see there so this is a screenshot from hasbro ebay it says you know star wars figures 43 percent off um well marvel legends i can't see what that is it's something like again where is it? 48% off. Huge, huge discounts on them. And I've took some screenshots. This is all eBay, Hasbro eBay UK. So already you've got the Nest um, Voyager class Bone Crusher. He's got 47% off. Kingdom Rodimus is reduced. Even some of the new legacy figures are heavily reduced. They're indeed Studio Series. 51% off, that is a crazy, crazy price. Some legacy figures, some studio series figures. The ARC is down to 78 pounds and 40 pence. At the moment, Titans in the UK are 220 pounds. That's a Titan figure, that is, that's a third. That's, you know, that's over 66% off the price of what they're going for at the moment. Um, even more figures, as I say, Special Generation Select, Beast Wars reissues, Please check, again, I can't confirm if this is Hasbro Worldwide. This is on their Hasbro UK site. Um, you can see at the moment, though, that the Evolution is still full price. And this just gives you an idea as well of how expensive things are in the UK. So he's £16.98, £17 for Core Class Sludge. That's $22, everybody. Maybe a little bit more. That's how crazy the prices are in the UK. And finally, just a few more images here, again, of the reduced prices. Spoiler Pack Megatron from Kingdom has got 51% off. Masterpiece movie figures, again, 51% off. Huge discounts, um, which you can see right there. Right, last couple of images there. Moving on to Shows E-Stores, funnily enough, um, it looks like they're gonna be, and this is, they might do this all the time, but I get asked about this so often, it's crazy. I get asked, where can I find KOs from? Usually I don't know. However, now I'm on Shows E a lot, I found some. So it looks like they're gonna get Japanese, sorry, they're gonna get Soundwave and uh, Shockwave back in stock to G1. So these will be the, I can't think of the, the brand who makes it, but they'll be the KOs and it looks like they're gonna be getting them in stock soon. It's Cause it's quite funny, cause even the KOs on eBay now are on like, way more than that already. But it looks like they're getting a restock of them in, which is interesting. And sticking with um, Shockwaves, one final thing, Flame Toys have introduced, introduced Revealed, that's the word, Fiori 36 Shockwave model kit, official images and details. So this just dropped on T-Formers just as I was coming uh, to do this video. So I wanted to share you some of the images. So remember, this is a model kit. It doesn't transform. It is highly articulate. It looks fantastic. It looks exactly like a much, much updated Generation 1 version of the figure. I love the details there, which of course would be the handles on his legs. Um, very, very good. I love Shockwave as well, so I'm very biased with this. Don't know any information on details and size and price just yet, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, he looks great. And he comes with very minimal accessories, just a few hands, the, of course, hose, and indeed a miniature version of himself, which we're going to see just there. Okay, that confirms, confirms, what's up with me today? This concludes part one of the news. Uh, part two is going to be in about 10, 12 hours time. Um, so I'm doing a live stream on Saturday, 10 p.m. start in the UK. A couple of hours maybe. It's going to be pretty good, actually. It's going to be a combination of everything I've got to give away for channel members. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be my three, third year anniversary as well. Um, I'm going to be discussing things like how people's collections have transformed or changed um, over the years, mine included, because going on my YouTube Friday night, UK, um, I've got, done a collector's interview with Vaults of Icon which is something I've done before, but not in a long, long time. And it's really good because it's an insight onto my collection, what got me into collecting, all that sort of thing. Those are questions that I get asked all the time. 
um, which were on some of the original videos, but of course, since then I've got quite a few new subscribers and they've been buried way, way, way below. So it's interesting for people who, I suppose, who just want to know more about me and my collection and how it all came to be. So that's going to be put up um, on Friday night in the UK as well, as well as all the normal reviews, because I've just had confirmation that my evolution figures have been, they're out there dispatched, which is great. Um, I'm just going to be so far behind because I went for the lot on pre-order. So um, I've got, of course, Skyquake coming in. I've got all the Deluxe and I've got all the Core Class. Um, I've done the Voyagers already. Can't wait for them. And I've got Retro Figure, Starscream coming in. Loads of things. Just, again, trying to keep up with it all. Huge thank you to everybody for all the support. Channel members especially. Uh, again, giveaway for you guys later. And again, everybody for supporting me on Show Z. Um, it's just great to be part of this community. Thank you ever so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Take care.